Win as one. EA Sports FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. Jack, I'm going to be quizzing you on your Aston Villa teammates' FIFA 21 ratings. It's usually at this point of interview I ask the players what they're like at FIFA, but I don't need to ask you that because the last time we were together, uh, we were filming you demolish uh, your good mate James Madison and EPL Invitational winner at FIFA. So uh, did you enjoy that day and do you still give him a bit of stick about that? <laughs> oh, no, nah, I loved it. Uh, it was nice to get one over Madders because I know how competitive he is. Um, so, yeah, no, it was good. And obviously that was one of my first games on the new FIFA. I've improved since, so... Mate, I very much enjoyed some of the celebrations as well. You were letting him know when you scored, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to win it. That's FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right, let's kick it off then. Uh, do you know your FIFA 21 overall rating? 80. It is 80. You've gone up plus three from your base card last year. So are you happy with that? Do you think that's about right? Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I still think I should be higher. Um, but I've seen... Yeah. A few people have a little pop in there on Twitter about their own ratings. I've seen Lukaku did. Um, yeah. So a few people haven't been too happy, but um, obviously, you know, it's better than, than I was last year uh, by three, so I'll take it. You take that. The other thing that's interesting about this, uh, Jack, is that your position changes. Well, you're down as a left wing, but you were a central attacking midfielder last year. So what is your favourite position? Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. I'm in one of them stages in my career where I'm actually a little bit... I don't really know my favourite position. I just love, obviously, just being on the football pitch. Um, I, see myself, I think I could play right wing, left wing, I can play 10, I could play as an 8. I, I even think yeah, yeah. I could play as like a 2 holding, if I'm honest. Um, I feel like I'm comfortable with the ball. Uh, so yeah, I just, I've always said that to the manager, I'll say wherever you want me to play at the weekend, I'll play. Right, let's move on now to your teammates. Who do you think has the highest overall rating at Aston Villa according to FIFA 21? Me. Yeah, I love that. I love how quickly you answered that. Uh, Jack Grealish, <laughs> top of the list. No, nah, that's only because I know that, though. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah, you, you knew that, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew that anyway. Uh, Villa captain, top of the ratings. You must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, just been top of it. I think last year I was like third or something. Um, so, yeah, being top is obviously nice. It's been a brilliant season for you, uh, personally, for the club as well. What's been your highlight of the season, would you say? I think there's been certain games, you know, Arsenal away, Liverpool at home that have been the standout games. Um, I'd probably have to say the Liverpool one, uh, you know, that yeah. was a game that don't come round very often and something that will live, you know, long in the history of Aston Villa and, and it will live long in our, in our minds, obviously the players that were playing that day. OK, next up, who has the highest pace stat at Aston Villa according to FIFA 21? I'm not too sure because I don't really play much with Villa. Um, so, <laughs> is it Oli Watkins or? Interestingly, mate, they've got Trezeguet with 81, Matty Cash and Bertrand Troy with 82, and Oli Watkins with 83. So that's how uh, FIFA have done it according to FIFA 21. So do you think that's about right? Nah, not at all. Not, <laughs> not at all? Okay, go on, give me your top three then. My top three would be in no order. Yeah. Oli, I think like it's like Oli, Tyrone, Guinea, yeah. I, you, I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet, but I'm actually, I'd probably be up there. I wouldn't put myself number one, but I think I'd put myself in the top five. Yeah, you're 76, mate, your um, pace rating. So, I know, uh, did they not see it... my assist for us Arsenal the other week? I know, mate. I mean, I don't do the ratings. Do you want to have a word with them about that? Look down the camera, what, what, what you're saying about that? Because that's, that's fix got to be up, a bit higher, Start watching the games. <laughs> Love it. Um, let's talk Ollie Watkins on a serious note because he's come in and he, he looks like a real top signing for you. We know that he ripped it up in the Championship. But have you been impressed with how quickly he's adapted to the Premier League? And he scored in some big games as well, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's always hard, you know, for a striker to come in from the Championship um, because, you know, people look at you and say, oh, he's only done it in the Championship. It's a big step up. You know, we've seen a lot of strikers over the years that have, you know, done well in the Championship and have come up into the Premier League. and and you know, and couldn't cut it. Um, but Ollie's completely different to that. You know, he works so hard on the training field. Um, you know, he's always asking me questions about about other strikers that I play with at England, like Sir Harry Kane, and asking me like, you know, what he does, what makes him so good, and he's and he's so desperate to improve, which is obviously a good sign. Class. And as, as a new um, signing, um, has he done an initiation? Is that something that you make players do as, as, as captain? Yeah, yeah, no, they do. Everyone's done an initiation. Um, I can't actually remember off the top of my head what he sang. <laughs> uh, 
obviously the most recent one was uh, Ross Bartley. Um, yeah. He sang Bob Marley, which was obviously, which was good. <laughs> he was a bit nervous, though, actually. Love that, love that. Uh, right, next up, of course, we know that you're known for your close control and dribbling, but who has the best dribbling stat uh, on the Villa team? Me, no. It is you, yeah, 84. Is that one that you knew again? I didn't actually know it now, but I just, I, I thought I would have been, yeah. To be fair, yeah, okay, Ross you're... would be up there, no? Ross Barkley, 80. Bertrand Troyer, 81. Jack Grealish, 84. So again, they got that about right, do you think? Or are they missing some players? Yeah, there? I'd definitely put them two up there as well. Uh, Amwal, guys, you know, when, for the dribbling stat, you'd obviously always look, wouldn't you, towards the attackers or wingers. Um, so yeah, I think they've probably got that about right. And of course, talking about dribbling, close control technique with regards to yourself, got to talk about that bit of skill you did for England. Uh, is that on repeat in your house now, constantly? What, my little touch, yeah. No, I watched that a few not... times. Um, it was obviously nice, you know, it would have been better if it led to a goal or something, but yeah. um, it was just because he was get... the defender was getting so tight to me in the game, especially in the second half. Um, as soon as Eric passed the ball into me, I knew he was just going to be right on my backside. So I just thought, oh, I'm just going to give this a go here. Yeah. Um, and, you know, luckily Lovely. it paid off. Class. And the other thing about you, Jack, is that you were famously the most fouled player in the Premier League last season. 167 times you were fouled, which is the most fouls won in a season by any player since 1998-99. So it's a hell of a lot of times. I'm interested, interested to know, is that something that, that winds you up constantly getting kicked? Or do you look at it as a positive that it's the only way players can get the better of you? How, how do you sort of assess that, that stat? I'm just waiting for now all the, all the fans just to come in saying that I dive all the time. I try and take it as a positive. There's, you know, there's times yeah. where it, it comes and it's a bit obviously annoying, do you know what I mean? When you're on the breakaway or something and and there's a time where, you know, you can obviously set a teammate up or, or go yourself and someone brings you down. Um, but in my position, it's going to happen. Um, you know, and I get so much stick, honestly, like on social media and everything from opposition fans saying, oh, you go down too easy, which, you know, at times I probably do, but that's just the player that I am. and. And that's just the team that I'm in at the moment. You know, we're, we're not like the biggest base possession team in the league. You know, mm. sometimes we have to. We're a team that you know need to slow the game down, and and you know it's part of my game. What I've what yeah. I've got to do. Um, you know, we're good from set pieces. I'm um, not saying that I dive at all, but you know, there's a difference between um, winning yeah. fouls and diving. Does that annoy you, Jack? You said that you get a lot of stick from opposition fans because the, the stats are there to see that you are the most foul player. So no, 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 I don't, I don't mind. Get... I don't, don't mind, mind it. at all stick off opposition fans. Um, it's it's usually just off the same fans, if I'm honest. It's just Blues <laughs> fans, West Brom, Wolves, and then Leeds for some reason. Um, really? I'm not sure why Leeds fans. I can obviously understand the, the ones that are like, obviously close to us and rivals. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's all just banter in it at the end of the day. Love it, yeah, well said. Okay, next up, let's talk passing. Uh, who do you think has the best long passing stat? on the Villa team. So not passing, long passing. Um, Guinea, John McGinn. Not, not according to FIFA 21, no. Should, should it be Guinea then for you? Yeah, Guinea's range of passing's up there. He probably don't get enough credit for it. You know, like he's, when he's on the obviously right side of the pitch and he's switching it to the left or, you know, playing lot balls over the top and stuff. Um, he's actually come on so much as a, as a player since he's been at Villa. Um, and his long range of passing, yeah, he's definitely up there. Conor Horahan, though? No, they've not got either of them. The, the, the player they've gone with is Ross Barkley, 80, uh, for long passing. So they've gone, with, they've gone with Ross Barkley. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Ross. Yeah, I'd probably say Ross would yeah. be up there, but them three for me, Ross, Conor and, and John McGinn would definitely probably be up there. Let's talk about Ross Barkley as well, another signing, you've got him on loan as well. Mate of yours, were you, were you instrumental in that when you heard that Villa were interested? Were you on the blower to him, telling him to, to sign for Villa? Did yeah, I, messaged, I was messaging him like a fair bit, actually. Uh, were you? And I was saying that obviously, you know, we look like a... Because at the end of the day, if Ross is coming from Chelsea, he wants to be in a team that's... I'm not saying fighting like Chelsea will be for like, you know, up there, but he, you still want to be yeah. in a decent team. Um, and I was trying to persuade him um, since the start of the season, really. Um, and then it weren't till the Fulham game when I was saying to him like the day before that, like, oh, you know, we're a, we are a lock like, a good side this season. We've come on so much from last year, brought in good players. And I think he was just like, oh yeah, like we'll wait and see. And then obviously we went and beat Fulham three 0 and we played like brilliant that day. Um, and I think yeah. it was that game really that sold it to him. Um, and then within. 
I think, yeah, a couple of days he was, he'd obviously signed for Villa, which was obviously good, you know, because I've known Ross for a long time. Um, yeah. Just from like, you know, playing against him and then obviously also just being out and about. Um, I went to Dubai with him in February. There was a few of us, like me, him, Madders, Delhi. Um, so yeah, oh, that, sounds like, that sounds like a good trip, that Jack. That sounds like a good trip. Any stories from that <laughs> you can share? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll keep that between us and our little group <laughs> chat. Um, but no, it was, it, I love that. It was obviously a good trip. Um, I'm sure you could imagine what it was like. Uh, but yeah, nah, okay. yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> uh, last few now. Uh, let's talk strength. So, uh, which player do you think has the highest strength rating at Aston Villa according to FIFA 21? He should a million percent be Keenan Davis, but I don't think it will because his rating's terrible. Oh, it's not Keenan Davis, but you're saying a million percent. So they've got this one wrong then, clearly. A hundred thousand million percent. It should but... be Keenan. <laughs> He's so strong, man, honestly. Like, Is he? So, so strong. He's one of the best hold-up players I've actually played with, and that includes like the likes of Ben Teke and stuff. Um, when obviously... ever one of the best hold-up players you've ever played with, did you say? Yeah, yeah. he's obviously honestly wow. he's unbelievable. Like he's so. The only thing that he needs to add to his game is obviously his end product, and he knows that he needs to like improve on that. But I can't give him enough credit for for how for how good he is. Um, you know, just in the game and holding the ball up, he's dribbling. Um, you know, for a big fella. Um, yeah, so I'm surprised at him, actually. Love that. Some praise for him um, The player, it's not either, no, the player they've got with the highest strength rating, and it's some rating as well, is Wesley with 91. Yeah, no, nah, oh yeah, I can see why. <laughs> the pause, the pause, there's a long pause there, mate. <laughs> nah, nah, I can see why, but I'd actually still put Keenan above him, honestly. Like, where's he had... strong, actually? Um, yeah. Sometimes, you know, when people are out injured and that, you kind of forget, don't you, about them? Yeah, yeah, fair point. I have you had any uh, toe to toe? But... No, no, have you had any sort of toe to toe, sort of duels with him in, with Wesley in training? Nah, so how strong is that. he? No, no, no <laughs> don't fancy it. Backing out. Love that. Interestingly, mate, he's in the top 10 strongest players in the Premier League uh, on FIFA 21 as well. So 91 strength rating, so it's very strong. But it's interesting hearing your praise of, uh, of Keenan Davis there. Uh, last question, mate. Who do you think has the best stamina at Villa? It is joint. I'll give you a little clue. It's joint. There's two players with the same rating, 89. Nakamba? They've not gone with Nakamba, no. Trezeguet? Not gone with Trezeguet either, no. I don't know who. So they've gone with John McGinn and Matty Cash, 89 rated for stamina. Jack, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I can see why with Guinea. Um, obviously, Cashy yeah. as well, but I, I would have went for the midfielders, I would have. I would have probably said the two that I mentioned, actually, Trezzy and, um, and Marvellous. You know, they can both just run all day, really. So, especially Trezzy, he's just like, yeah. he's just like a fly in a jar, just constantly. He's just, just don't stop. Love that. Jack, that concludes it. So just in summary, do you think FIFA got a lot of them right or a couple of them not quite right for you in terms of the ratings? Nah, I go 50-50. 50-50? Some, right. okay. some of them right uh, and some of them miles off it. And any words on yours? I'm just looking at your cards again. You, you, you're happy, but you think it should be a little bit high. You're expecting FIFA 22, the ratings to go up a little bit more? Just put my overall rating up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, Actually, I'm my, I'm my weak foot. And your weak foot? Yeah, I scored three goals last year with my left ear. Yeah, it's a fair point. Uh, pace as well, Go, you want that up a little bit? Yeah. You, just just generally overall, you want it up? We'll get, we're gathering. Just overall, yeah. Yeah, love it. Mate, top man, always good to speak to you. Good luck the rest of the season uh, for Villa and for England. I'm sure we'll catch up soon. And you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.